Hey everybody, welcome to my video about my settings for RTX Voice, Voice Meter Banana, and OBS Studio, all within a Windows setting. All right. I have a file that helps me keep all this stuff straight. I encourage you to do the same thing. It looks something like this. You can pause it, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. This is, this is kind of what I do. And these are, these are all the things that we're going to be discussing. We're going to be talking about the Windows settings. Then we're going to go into RTX Voice. We're going to talk about Voice Meter Banana. We're going to jump into OBS Studio. And finally, there'll be a little note about Discord. All right, that's how we're going to do everything. Now, the links to all of this software are provided down below in the description. I am not going to be going over the installation of all of that software. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that yourself or you've already done it. Once all of those things are installed, the first thing we want to do is deal with Windows. Come down here to your taskbar. You're going to find your speaker icon. You're going to right click on that. You're going to select open sound settings. You're going to have a window that looks something like this. At the very top, you're going to see output then a bunch of stuff. And right below it, you're going to see input. Now for output, you're going to want to select a voice meter input. And for input, you're going to want to select voice meter output. That seems like it would be crazy, but you're going to find out later on that it totally makes sense. So once you've got those two things set, you're going to be good to move on to our next step. But I quickly want to just tell you a little bit about troubleshooting. If after you have set all of this up, you come back and you turn your computer on the next day and, and nothing's working right, Start your troubleshooting here. Make sure that Windows has not changed your input or your output to another device. If it has, and you do not want it to, then with that device, the wrong one selected, select device properties. Okay, for either your input or your output device, whichever one's got the problem, and disable that device. That, that way, Windows doesn't ever accidentally do that again. Okay, so with input as our output and output as our input, we're now ready to turn on RTX Voice. Once you open up your RTX Voice interface, you're going to see input and output. You're going to see a lot of input and output on this video, but not the kind that you want. So input device here, I have my input device selected, which is a Yeti microphone. Yours could be a headset. Okay, or a freestanding microphone or whatever. Select your microphone from this drop down list and then tick this little checkbox right here. It might take a second or two for it to start. Once it's started, you can click this X. That'll just minimize it back down to your tray. It has not shut off RTX voice. Now that we've got RTX voice turned on, and we've got our microphone going into RTX voice. It's time to get into Voice Meter Banana. The Voice Meter Banana is where we will input our microphone and output it later to OBS. Now, a quick top level overview of Voice Meter Banana, real fast. These three columns over here on the left hand side, these three columns are inputs. The central column right here is also input. Do not worry about the cassette. This section down here, these are your outputs. Physical and virtual. Your physical outputs are a physical device that exists in the real world. That's your desktop speakers, your headphones or your headset, okay? Or your earbuds, all right? Those are physical things that you're sending the audio signal out to. You can define those using these three boxes up here, labeled A1, A2, and A3. They correspond with A1, A2, and A3, which you will also find A1, A2, and A3 on these buttons right here, okay, for each and every one of your inputs. So you can take your input and output it to something so you can hear it. For example, right now you'll see this A3. That's going out to my earbuds right here. That way I can hear stuff. 
All right, so there's your top level. Now, your virtual output, that's something that's not a physical thing. That's going out to another piece of software, like Windows or OBS, for example. Now, we're talking about the microphone. That's what we're going to start with. We're going to keep this simple. We just set up our microphone in Windows. We just set up our microphone going through RTX Voice. Now we're coming in here. Now, if you have not set up Voice Meter Banana before, these will not say these. <laughs> I forget what it says by default up here. Um, there we go. It says hardware input number one. If you right click on hardware input number one, you can rename it whatever you want. Mic. All right. And then if you left click on the white text just below it, you will select NVIDIA RTX Voice. Because that's where it's coming from. Right? Follow that train coming out of your mouth, into your mic, from your mic to RTX Voice, and from RTX Voice here into Voice Meter Banana. Once we have the signal coming in, we need to send it somewhere. And that's where our virtual outputs come in. Now, if you want to monitor your own voice, you can throw it through some speakers or earbuds or whatever you've got here using these outputs, the physical outputs. But we're really more concerned with sending it to OBS, for example. So let's talk about, whoops, hang on guys, I did not mean to do that. Let's talk about sending that to OBS. That's where this first virtual output comes in. Now, I have renamed this to mic out. Default name is fader gain for all of these. It's insane. But you can re rename it to whatever you want. Uh, and like I said, I'm calling mine mic out just for fun. Now, in OBS Studio, you will see that I, of course, already have my microphone coming in. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hear me right now. If you open up settings, either from down here or wherever your little panel happens to be, or from file, settings, then go to audio. You will see that right here, ignore desktop audio and go straight down to mic and auxiliary. You'll see that I have voice meter output selected. That's because this first virtual output, B1, is always voice meter output. And you may recall that in Windows, our input device is voice meter output. Didn't I say this was going to make sense? See, our input device is our microphone. It's what we talk into. That is going to RTX voice. RTX Voice is sending it to Voice Meter Banana, and then Voice Meter Banana is sending it out through Voice Meter Output. So having that selected here, click Apply, click OK, you will see your, you will see this right here. It's going to say, instead of microphone, it's going to say auxiliary mic something. Just right click that, choose rename, type whatever you want. Yeah, I know that name's already in use. Fine. Microphone. There. Um, microphone. Now, that's not the only thing we want to hear in OBS. We want to hear our desktop audio, too. Well, this column right here is your desktop audio. It says virtual inputs. This is voice meter input and voice meter auxiliary input. Now, voice meter input is our desktop. Okay, making sense now? So any sound that happens to be coming through your desktop, like a, a really loud YouTube video or something, is coming in through here. As you can see, I've got signal right here on this little meter. And I'm sending it out to B2 instead of B1. That's this guy right here. B2, our second virtual output. Now I have renamed this desktop. Makes sense to me. You can name it whatever you want. But what's important is how we get it into OBS. All right. Go into settings again. 
go back to audio, and then go down to your second mic and auxiliary audio, drop down and choose voice meter auxiliary input. I mean, auxiliary output, I'm so sorry. All right, we've got output there, that's our mic, and auxiliary output, that's gonna be our desktop. Once I click apply, you guys are gonna be able to hear it. And you can also see that I now have a new input in my audio mixer. Right click that, rename it, and call it desktop. You now have control within OBS of the volume there, and you have independent control within voice meter banana of the desktop audio as well, just in case you don't want to shout over it. All right, so there we have pretty much everything you need. Like I said, I am going to touch on Discord for a moment. So let's turn that off. We only needed it for the desktop example. Double-clicking on any of these sliders returns them to zero. You can right-click on them to set a very dis distinct level. If you don't want to try to dial it in, you can just type it right in. Just a little FYI for you. So here you probably noticed that in my second column, I have named it Discord In. And if you left click on the white text underneath that, what I have selected is Cable Output Virtual Cable. And that's what you want to do too. Basically, we're going to take all the sound that's coming in through Discord your teammates, for example, or people who are in your, uh, your stream or, your, or your, your vlog or whatever, and you're going to bring them into voice meter so that you have individual control independent of your microphone as well as the desktop audio. Now, in order to do that, you'll just open up Discord, go into user settings, once you're in here, uh, once you're in settings, you'll come down to app settings, voice and video. Now for the input device, that's our microphone. And like we've said before, this is always voice meter output. Because we're always sending our microphone, which is over here, to our first virtual output, which is always voice meter output. Now for the output device, we want to send that into voice meter before we send it to OBS so that we have control over it. For that, we're going to select Cable Input Virtual Cable. All right? Because you're inputting it here, and it's outputting into voice meter. Once you've done that, you can close them down or minimize it. And now, if I had anybody in Discord talking right now, you would be able to hear them because I am sending them out through the desktop. I recommend separating the Discord into the same channel that you're sending your desktop. Because once you're in OBS and you have your microphone and your desktop separated, you can apply things like filters to your microphone. Uh, a compressor, for example, or a graphic equalizer to help adjust the sound. But you wouldn't want to be applying these to the voices that are coming in through Discord. You'd want to keep them grouped up with the desktop audio. All right, everybody. That's the, uh, that's the end of the video. Um, I'm not going into any crazy advanced settings about the, uh, the auxiliary input. Uh, if you have any questions about them, you could try to post those in the comments down below. If you happen to notice that I re-uploaded this video and it's a little different, that's because I forgot a couple of things and I came back and I added them. So my apologies for that. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like. I'm going to start trying to make a few more of these just to help people out with their various settings. I know there's a billion out there already, but uh, I kind of feel like I'm doing it slightly better than most because I've seen those other videos and yikes. All right, everyone. Thank you again for watching. I hope this has been useful. Have a fantastic rest of your uh, existence. Bye.